In this problem, we have an infinite series, and we have to determine if it converges or diverges. So it looks like there's exponential functions. Uh, there's a negative 1 to the n. Uh, there's an n. Let's try to use the ratio test. So the ratio test says that you take the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n. If the result is less than 1, we have convergence. If it's greater than 1, we have divergence. And if it's equal to 1, there is no information. OK, let's go ahead and work through this. So this is the limit. As n approaches infinity of the absolute value of. So let's go ahead and replace all of the n's with n plus 1's. So it'll be negative 1 to the n plus 1. 3 to the n plus 1. Then on the bottom we have n plus 1. And we also have 2 to the n plus 1. Times, and then we're dividing by a sub n, so instead of dividing we'll multiply by the reciprocal. So we have n times 2 to the n over, and then negative 1 to the n times 3 to the n. All right, so let's see what we can simplify. So first of all, the negative 1 to the n's will go away. If you take the absolute value of negative 1 to the n, it's either 1 or negative 1. And in any case, when you take the absolute value, you're just going to get 1, because the absolute value of 1 is 1, and the absolute value of negative 1 is also 1. The 3's will simplify. If we have 3 to the n plus 1 over 3 to the n, we can write the numerator as 3 to the n times 3 to the 1. And on the bottom, we still have 3 to the n. The 3 to the n's cancel, and we're left with a 3. So let's go ahead and write that down. So we have the limit as n goes to infinity. I'll go ahead and drop the absolute values, and we'll just get rid of the negative ones. So we're left with a 3. We still have the n. And then the 2 to the n over 2 to the n plus 1, something similar will happen there, except this time on the bottom, uh, we break it up as 2 to the n times 2 to the 1. And then they cancel, so we're left with 1 over 2. So we're left with a 2 on the bottom and also an n plus 1. And I believe that's everything, right? We took care of the 3s, boom, we took care of the 2s. Uh, the n and the n plus 1 stay, the negative 1 to the n's go away. So looks like these are both uh, polynomials, and they're both degree 1. And the degrees are the same, so the answer is the ratio of the leading coefficients. So in this case, it's 3 over 2. Ah, which is greater than or equal to 1, so diverges by the ratio test. Rather, greater than 1 ratio test. If it's equal to 1... If it's equal to 1, uh, we have uh, no information. So it's actually greater than 1, and that will give us divergence. Nice problem, not too difficult. Uh, good example of a ratio test. I hope this video has been helpful.